What's up, everybody? Go Burns, bringing you the first Discuss video of 2018. And what better way to start the new year than to discuss the 2018 video games that you, yes, you, are most excited about. Hopefully these video games actually come out in 2018 and aren't delayed to 2019 or uh, 2020, right? Okay, so last week I gave you guys an opportunity via uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube to uh, make your submissions. So everybody that uh, submitted, thank you very much. And those of you who want to let us know what your uh, game or games coming out in 2018 are, the ones you're looking forward to the most, Feel free and let us know below in the comments section. We're going in alphabetical order. By the way, if uh, some of you said the exact same thing and like the same game, but not multiple games, I lumped you all together, you know, like minds and all. So some of you are actually put into uh, groups. You know, it's not a bad thing to be in a posse. Wink, wink. First off, we are going with Brian. Hello, Go Burns. The games I'm looking forward to in 2018 include God of War. Red Dead Redemption 2, for God of War because the past games have excellent gameplay and great storyline and a new God of War game as we explore a father and son relationship with Kratos and, let's see, Atros. They face the Norse gods like Odin, Thor, and Loki. Wow, that sounds like a Marvel movie. <laughs> and for Red Dead Redemption 2, we explore a new world with Arthur Morgan and uh, hopefully do heist with Jonathan Marston. Mr. Marston. Hopefully uh, John Marston will be in Red Dead Redemption 2 since technically Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel to Red Dead Redemption. So I get the film we may see a younger John Marston. I mean, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but I think that is probably going to happen. Have a fantastic day, Go Burns. And Brian, you, everyone else watching, you have a fantastic day as well. Next, we're moving on to Facebook with Christopher Ashby, Red Dead Redemption 2. So two votes for Red Dead Redemption 2 already on the list. And uh, he's also excited for Last of Us 2. Uh, a few of my friends are very excited for Last of Us Part 2. And I never played the first Last of Us game. Maybe eventually I'll break down and buy it. Maybe when it's on sale or something. Maybe I'll live stream it. Because I hear it's really good. But I don't know. I'm not really as into zombies. I mean, I tolerate The Walking Dead. And for the most part, but at the same time, you know, zombies aren't really my thing. But I hear that Last of Us was really good. So uh, Last of Us Part 2 has kind of like a, a really high bar right now. But hopefully it'll be good. At least maybe somewhere in the same ballpark as the first Last of Us game. Next, we go to another Chris, Chris Padilla. There's actually a game called uh, Visage, which has a Kickstarter page as well. Hopefully this horror game doesn't cost me more money for laundry. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one, Chris. Okay, so yeah, I really do love uh, horror games, as a lot of you know by now, because at night I play with uh, various other streamers and content creators like uh, Azulin, Retro, a.k.a. MRG, Sky, Shotgun Mark, a few others as well in Dead by Daylight, as well as occasionally Friday the 13th, whenever they have something new added to the game. But mostly it's Dead by Daylight, and I absolutely love Survivor Horror Games. I don't feature them as much on the channel, but uh, maybe next week uh, during my Pack South trip, you might get at least one uh, Dead by Daylight video. <laughs> Thanks for the submission, Chris's, both of you, Chris A and Chris P. Moving on to Akeem. Let's see, I think this is off of YouTube. Okay, so Akeem, I always thought your wolf character was supposed to be a werewolf. Oh, off of uh, Grand Theft Auto Online, Wolfstein. Uh, he wants to be a werewolf, but werewolves are not real, Hakeem. And and neither are vampires or tooth fairies or uh, Santa Claus. I'm sorry. I, I ruined everybody's uh, childhood and your innocence. Hey, blame your parents. <laughs> but the game I'm looking forward to is uh, State of Decay. And I hope the greedy devs don't plague it with loot boxes, as do I. Hopefully we'll see a, a decline in loot boxes going into 2018. Also, I'm looking forward to your Red Dead gameplay. I'm not a fan of Westerns, but I have a feeling your gameplay will contain salt. Akeem, it's also going to contain a lot of cheese, okay? So it's going to have some cheese, and it's going to probably have some salt. And I'm also, obviously, very much looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks, Akeem. Joseph, also looking forward to State of Decay 2. So you got two votes for State of Decay 2 coming up for 2018. Next, we hit the high seas with Michael off of Facebook. He is wanting to put on the eye patch, the peg leg, get a, a rapier 
or a cutlass, whichever you prefer, sword-wise, maybe a parrot, and then uh, become one with the ocean. Maybe even end up in Davy Jones's locker for Sea of Thieves, because who doesn't like being a pirate? I concur. I love me some pirate action, whether it's Sid Meier's Pirates or Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I really wish we had, this, uh, you know, just like Black Flag as its own standalone IP. That'd be awesome. I know Ubisoft is working on a pirate game, but it's just focused around the ships. Okay, being a pirate is more than having a badass ship. You want to also be able to go on land and do trade and do raids and just run around with a you know, sword and awesome pirate gear. So I feel like that they should have just you know, taken Black Flag and just ran with it because it was perfect for its own IP, a spinoff, if you will, to Assassin's Creed. But I am very interested in Sea of Thieves because I am a fan of Rare. Some of their games from back in the day, like Donkey Kong Country, GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, just to name a few. They're, they're kind of popular, you know, some uh, Viva Pinata. I had the, uh, what, 30th Anniversary Collection on my Xbox One, and I played a few of the games, and I got really addicted to Viva Pinata. And uh, one of my friends got an Xbox One, and uh, it was one of those games I was just sitting around. I wasn't playing it anymore, so I just I gave him and his kids uh, that uh, collection so they have all those uh, awesome games to play. And I absolutely loved Perfect Dark back in the day. Oh, yeah, I had a crush on Joanna Dark. Anyways, so Sea of Thieves, I think that's coming, I think, in March. So if it's really good, I might just have to start playing that on the Xbox One. Thanks for the submission, Captain Michael. Now we are moving on to our uh, big group because several of you are looking forward to one game that's coming out in 2018. That's right. Hello Kitty Island 7. No, just kidding. Red Dead Redemption 2. UG Outlaw. Tim. Lunchhawks. All of you wanting Red Dead Redemption 2. You told me that and I've been hearing it all day long and hey, it just makes me that more excited about it. Oh, there's some other people that want Red Dead Redemption 2 as well, including uh, Kevin, as well as Mining Master. Wow, so Kevin wants this. He's like, uh, the 2018 game I'm most looking forward to is Red Dead Redemption 2. It's going to be an awesome game, and if they don't delay it again, I was crying for three hours first time. Dude, it's just a delay. I mean, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. It's good that games are delayed, guys, because if you know there's an issue with the game, I'd rather them take their time to fix those issues and bugs and get us out of better, you know, finer polished games. So, yeah, I mean, it sucks it was delayed, but hopefully Red Dead Redemption 2 will not be delayed again. I hope they bring back Deadeye and improve on it a little bit and uh, gambling in the game, such as Blackjack Poker, although I don't really know how to play poker, but I try to love Blackjack. By the way, Happy New Year to everyone watching this video and to you as well, GB. And Happy New Year to you too, Kevin. And I hope 2018 is awesome for all of us. Hopefully that will include... Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Mining Master, Red Dead Redemption 2, since I started playing Grand Theft Auto Online, let's see, at the beginning of 2017, I started to dislike Call of Duty and other games. I get angry because people don't play Grand Theft Auto. It closed my mind. I don't want to play other games, despite the hate this game has been getting lately. I always get a video game for Christmas, but not this year. I have Grand Theft Auto, but I'm pretty excited for this game, Red Dead Redemption 2. I think the gameplay and the story is going to be great. I like all kinds of games of Mining Master, not just Grand Theft Auto. I love Mafia. I love the Red Dead series, which is why I'm very excited for Red Dead Redemption 2. And yes, I will be covering everything and anything Red Dead Redemption 2 once that starts to hopefully come out sooner rather than later. And once Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online come out, there's definitely going to be videos and live streams, most likely. That's probably in the future for the channel. So hopefully those of you that are as excited about Red Dead Redemption 2 as I am will stick around. But I do play other games too, like Diablo 3, and uh, as I mentioned, some of the survivor horror games as well. So obviously, a lot of my submissions were for uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, because that's like the most anticipated game of 2018, but it's not the only game. And uh, the other day, in the uh, latest ACG International podcast done by Carrick, who's one of the best reviewers on YouTube when it comes to AAA and indie games. He's also a good friend of mine, and I'm a member of the International Podcast along with Silver and Reg, and occasionally we have some guests. We did discuss this, the uh, top 20 games according to Yahoo Finance that are coming out in 2018 that are highly anticipated, and here's a little note above it. Uh, only games uh, currently confirmed for 2018 release dates are included. All right, so yeah, 
these games might come out in 2018, but there may be some that may not make it to 2018. And we talked more about that on the latest international podcast, so feel free and go check that out, along with uh, some other stuff we discussed, the final podcast of 2017. Obviously, at the top of the list, no surprise, Red Dead Redemption 2, hopefully coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Spring 2018. Last of Us Part 2 might come sometime in 2018 to PS4. Anthem, I don't know if Anthem is going to make it, to be honest. We'll see how that turns out, but that's coming to PS4, Xbox One, PC, Whenever that happens to come out, maybe fourth quarter 2018. God of War. Some of you are excited about God of War. Um, sometime uh, the first part of the year for PlayStation 4. I hope that uh, transpires. And I hope that it lives up to the previous God of War games. Here's the game I'm surprised that nobody mentioned whenever uh, it came to uh, submissions. Far Cry 5. I'm kind of interested in Far Cry 5. I never played the other Far Cry's. I just haven't had time. It seems like a series I could get into. And I do love the setting. It's supposed to be in Montana. And I've always had a special place in my heart for Montana. I've never been there, but it looks beautiful. I always thought that, you know, if I ever decided to retire and go live in a nice small town, hopefully with high-speed internet, near some mountains, you know, Montana would be my future. Anyways, so I'm kind of interested in Far Cry 5. I think that's coming March, April. It says March 27th, so that hopefully that won't get delayed anymore. So I might just have to pick that up depending on whether or not it launches anywhere near Red Dead Redemption 2. If, like, Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out, like, May or June, yeah, that may give me some time to play a different game, you know, while we patiently wait for Red Dead Redemption 2 to come out, right? But if it comes out early spring, sorry, you know, i got to make my choices, and my choices are going to be Red Dead Redemption 2 all the way. Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts fans have been looking forward to a new Kingdom Hearts game for a while now, and... Whether or not this comes out in 2018 remains to be seen. And uh, coming out this January, well, in a few weeks from now, Monster Hunter World. That's coming to PS4, Xbox One as well. And Michael, very excited about this game. And I might be enticed to get this coming in March. Sea of Thieves by Rare. It's coming to Xbox One and PC. So hopefully it'll be the ability to you know cross-platform, whether you're on PC or are on Xbox One, you'll be able to play together. So I'm very interested to see if this is going to be a game worth picking up and spending some time in. Because, like I said earlier, I also kind of have a thing for Pirates. Psychonauts 2! That could be coming out this year. I, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't bet the farm on it, but it could happen. Anything's possible. Detroit Become Human, maybe that's coming out somewhere in the halfway mark of 2018 at PlayStation 4. A lot of PlayStation 4 exclusives are coming out in 2018. Maybe, maybe not. Shinmu 3, another game that may or may not come out in 2018. It might be coming for PS4 as well as uh, PC. Oh, so old school. Mega Man 11. I was a huge Mega Man fan back in the day when I was a kid. I loved Mega Man 2. In fact, I have Mega Man 2 on my iPhone. Yes, I do. I love that game so much. I love the intro. You know, the cinematic where it's like going up to the top of the skyscraper and you have Mega Man on top of the building, you know, the wind blowing in his hair and has the Mega Man 2 symbol. So epic back then. It's still cool, though. So Mega Man 11, supposedly coming out by the end of the year. Fourth quarter 2018 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Hopefully, that will live up to previous Mega Man games. Next is Metro Exodus, a game a lot of Metro fans are very, very excited for. Hopefully, it will also be coming out in 2018 by the end of the year. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as well as PC. Now, this is a game I'm not really interested in, to be honest. It looks fascinating. Days Gone. Might come out sometime in 2018 for the PlayStation 4, another PS4 exclusive. It's another zombie game, so I think I mentioned already how I feel about zombies and zombie games for the most part, yeah. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. that's also coming out this month for all you Dragon Ball Z fans. Hopefully that will be good and will live up to your expectations. It's coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as well as PC. Soul Calibur 6 is coming sometime, possibly in 2018. Maybe, maybe not for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as well as PC. And Spider-Man. 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 Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man swinging into PlayStation 4. Maybe. Hopefully. Sometime around the halfway mark in uh, 2018. I mean, that might be a reason for me to play Spider-Man. Even though, I, from what I saw in the demo, it feels very controlled. Like, I was expecting it to where you just, like, fl you know, like swing around New York, you know, all open world-like. 
you know, kind of like Batman can do in like Arkham City and Arkham Knight. I want that from a Spider-Man game. I realize it was kind of like that with the old school Spider-Man games, but I want like a 2018 version of that. So maybe it will, maybe it won't. I guess we're going to find out if and when Spider-Man comes to PS4, another exclusive sometime this year. Uh, Crackdown 3, we've been waiting a while for Crackdown 3. Who knows if that's going to come out this year. Maybe, maybe not. Possibly for the Xbox One and PC. Last Night, which is a very cool game. It has a Blade Runner vibe to it. It's coming sometime this year for Xbox One, PC, and Mac. You don't see many games coming out for the Mac. So, uh, Mac fans, uh, here's a game coming. It has kind of like a 16-bit uh, thing going on. I would say it, it looks better than Beat Cop, even though I love Beat Cop, by the way. I am planning a Beat Cop video sometime next week while I'm out of town at PAX South. So, we got some gaming videos, non-GTA Next week, probably, you know, like Thursday through Saturday while I'm in San Antonio for your uh, viewing pleasure. That's what's happening next week. I uh, see Darksiders 3. That is coming out also sometime in 2018, possibly for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So, anyways, those are all the uh, games, the top games, according to uh, Yahoo Finance and to you all. My awesome viewers, subscribers, and fans, the 2018 games you are most looking forward to. If you didn't have a chance to be part of the list, and if any of these games or some other game that might be coming out in 2018 that interests you, that you're really looking forward to, feel free and chime in below in the comments section.